Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to our part five, our last part of our June quilt along. Welcome everybody, welcome back to our final part. It's amazing how these days just fly by, isn't it? Um, I went on Facebook and I'm overwhelmed with all of the quilts we've posted already, or at least lots of blocks. And these are gonna be so amazing, so cool. Now, during our last segment, we forgot to announce our part three winners. So let's do that first. Mr. HP, do you have the names for our part three winners? And so you'll be getting some goodies from us. We have Anna McCurdy and Sue Kirby. So then we'll have to give them some time. Congrats, Anna and Sue. Send us a, a quick email to get your address. And if you don't, we'll find you. Don't worry. <laughs> we, got your, we got your email. But I saw um, in the questions coming up as we were w counting down, somebody wanted to see the trick of removing the triangles again. So I quick ran over there and grabbed a couple of my blocks. So I was gonna just cut them apart and show you guys. So I have them laid here, layered. And so cutting them apart first. And I'm just gonna pop these triangles in. Um, I mean, I pop these pins in here so that I can keep them together and then show you how to remove the triangles again. Cut them apart. All right. So we don't have our up close camera because it was over by the design wall. But I'm going to go right in here and um, try to show you up close to the camera. So you start by going in here. There's no extra triangles in here. But in the other one, there's actually two. You go in here, you open it up, and you can pull on one get that out sometimes they're kind of stuck in there so you can have to just kind of keep working at it and then the other one may have to be cut out so although it's kind of coming apart so so here it's kind of stuck so i always use just my little green very pointy scissors to trim that off so that side is good on the other side you will have one on each side so you'll have little bitty ones Go in between the seam here, you'll see that black one because I have white seams. There's a little black triangle. And on the other side, it'll be the same. Right in here, in between this. Just a little bitty one. There. And that really reduces that bulk when you're sewing uh, this diagonal seam. All right, I hope that clarified. And guess what? I went ahead and ordered some tweezers, so they are on the way. <laughs> we have some tweezers coming. So if you would like to get some, we'll have them late next week. So anyways, let's check out some of these amazing blocks that you have done and posted. Now, I only took probably about 3% of photos I saw. It was just too many. But let's just look at them because they are so awesome. You guys have done such a great job. It's been such a fun day. Gone too fast. All right. These are Elisa's block, beautiful, unique colorway with the reds and the, I love the taupe in there, red, gray, and taupe. And then Barb has a finished crib size. Look how adorable, just three fabrics. Um, and that has a great look just using three fabrics. Another crib size is Carol's. This is, um, she used a similar layout. So this is Minnesota Vikings. Look at that, purple and gold, purple and gold. Beautiful. Um, we have Cecile's blocks from a reef bundle. Beautiful. Love that. And then we have Sherry has, no, this is Cheryl's. Cheryl's, um, she's working with the Unstoppable Yoga Bundle. That's so cute. That is precious colors. And we have a colorful one from Cindy. This looks like hopscotch. Oh, love that. Just your color joy. Um, and Corinne, again, striking colors, striking fabrics. This is the trellis bundle, um, and she has a black background. That's perfect. 
Then we have Dab, and she used a golden oldie. Oh, I don't remember what this was called. This was a very hot bundle when we had it last summer. Um, and then we have Debbie's. Very cool. Um, love that pop of mustard, or would you call that mustard or cheddar? Is that cheddar? That's probably cheddar. <laughs> then we have Diana's Cottage Blue with a beautiful green uh, as a background. That's going to be just delicious. Ellen has her blocks done. Oh, love red and pink with a white background. And then we have Jane. Prismachrome, wow, that's stunning. Very colorful and cool. Uh, then we have Jenny's, and she's also using the Lewis and Irene bundle. Oh, no, I'm blocked on what it's called. Um, Lock Lewis, Lock Lewis, yeah. All right, another, uh, another from uh, from Judy. This one is also the same bundle. I can't remember the name of it now. We sold out of it so fast last year. Then we have Julie with her beautiful greens. Um, looks like she's getting started on a barn raising layout, looks like. And then we have Coffee Love. This is Karen's quilt. Oh, love that. And that's the pecan praline deco stitch in the background. That's perfect with it. Um, Laura wasn't going to participate, but she got a mystery bundle from us and quickly grabbed four fabrics had a yard of background and look at awesome um crib size for her grandson so cute all halloween with some background cute next one is Lori's. that is so cool i love the blues with a little pop of orange very nice um and then we have another Lori. That one is looks like tulip pink. Looks like a start of a um, barn raising layout as well. Then we have oh, is that at the lake fabric? Yeah, very cool. This is Lori's. There's lots of Lori's. They're all differently spelled. <laughs> I love that with a white background. Perfect. That's gonna be perfect for the lake. Um, next one up is Marie with her blues and bright, bright, fun yellows. Very cool. Um, and then we have Mary with Adorn. Oh, I love this. Now that's a real cool surprise to use yellow for your background for that bundle. I love that. Love that choice. That's so cool. And then we have another finished top. And uh, that that one is Maylin's. That is very cute so this is a lap size that was fast work love it um then we have nancy and she's on her way with some cool big prints and small prints putting together love that and we have nina's awesome start here all aboriginals black background that is very cool that's gonna be just yummy when it comes together um Pam, it's got all her blocks. Love that controlled colorway. That navy is great as your background. Let's see. We have more. Yeah, I couldn't stop. Um, this next one is Robin Rock On Bundle. Oh, I love that orange with it. That's great. That's gonna be so much fun. And then Roxanne has beautiful batiks. That's very cool. Uh, very soothing. And Sandra has patriotic red white and blue happening that just looks like fireworks that is very cool that's going to be very perfect for summertime in in the usa all right sandy has her most of her blocks done a lot of her blocks done beautiful um love the topes and the reds beautiful reds that's classic um and then we have sharon also red white and blue very nice and that's almost done too all the blocks done and sue's blocks oh, very very nice with all those aquas it's probably one of my favorite colors well for now for today <laughs> and beautiful corals so 
thank you all. We're going to see if you want more, uh, more quilts, see more June quilts, just go into our Facebook group, Goodrin's Quilt Crew. If you haven't joined it, just go to Facebook. Um, you can go to our main page, our GE Quilt Designs page, and find our group from there, or just Google, or just search for Goodrin's Quilt Crew. Uh, and join us and see all of these beautiful quilts. We will show you more on Tuesday for, uh, for a Tipsy Tuesday show at 7. Don't miss Tipsy Tuesday. I have a machine quilting expert, Ms. Nina Klotfelder. She has um, been kind of coming up with a bunch of ideas for quilting the June quilts on your domestic machine. So I'm excited to see her ideas um, so you can get those quilts finished if you, if you prefer to quilt them yourself. That's June 29th, 7 p.m. for Tipsy Tuesday. But I wanted to, let's now uh, announce the winners. You have the winners for part four because we, Cindy Hamilton and Kathleen Perez. Congrats, guys. Thank you for being with us. Um, we will get some goodies out to you. Send us a quick email if you are seeing this or we will find you. We will dig up your emails and get a hold of you. All right, we are gonna have two more winners, which we're gonna announce right at the end of this segment, but we're getting down to it. And I thought it was only proper to finish it off with a little toast. So uh, we, I didn't have time to make the slushies, so I hope I heard that the June slushies were delicious, whether you made them non-alcoholic or you put a little bit of alcohol in them. So I didn't have time to make them. So I made, I had a few strawberries that were on their last bit. So I made um, just strawberry mojitos. Cheers. Toast. Cheers, everybody. Great job, everybody. You got to bend down. They can't see oh. your face. This wants to be kind uh. anyway. <laughs> so we want to just personally thank you all for hanging in there all day with us. And um, cheers. Have a great oh. rest of your weekend. Mm. Delicious and refreshing. Cheers to a successful, successful day. Amazing quilts. I hope you learned something. So what was your favorite tip today? Post that in the comments. Your favorite tip. Um, Mr. Honey Producer is working the random generator for the winners. So hang tight. Remember, you more you comment, the better chances to win. I'm going to see if we have any questions or favorite tips. Um, Cutting the triangle out was my favorite. Oh, the little removing the triangles. Yeah, anytime you're layering things that are pressed opposite ways, you might be able to remove some bulk. So um, there are more of my patterns that I do this with. And of course, this tip would be not very <laughs> successful in writing into the pattern. It would be too confusing. So that is great. Um, all right, somebody says... Um, learning how to square up with the XL ruler. So somebody that had their ruler and never really dared to do squaring up. And now you see how easy that is using the stripology rulers. Um, that's really great. So our last winners, he's working on it. He's working on it. So just cross your fingers for who it's going to be. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little impromptu stretch yoga session with a live mu live percussion i don't know if uh many others offer that that was pretty special and fun um everybody's talking about the triangles oh and the ironing tips sherry likes all the pressing tips that's that's great pressing is just as important for your accuracy as is your cutting your seam allowance um, it all plays together so that is good all right, so our winners for this last segment for part five of our Hey June Quilt Along are Betty, Mc Betty McHugh and Martha Campbell. Congratulations, guys. You have won your goodies. So we have two winners from each segment. Ten winners are getting some goodies. Um, mostly just a thank you from us for being a part of this day, for hanging with us all day and enjoying the process. I hope we see you all on Tuesday and then of course the following Friday for our Happy Friday show, which is always at 3 p.m. But that's it for us. We are over and out. Any last words, Mr. HP? Cheers, have a wonderful Cheers. rest of your weekend. Have a great weekend and we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye everybody.